What is happening guys? I hope you're all well. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. If you're new around here, my name's Mike. This is the channel, Mike Barnett. Uh, I do all sorts of cool stuff. We go up and down the country buying different items to fill this place. Uh, we do adventures, uh, all sorts of stuff, flying, mountain climbing, the lot. Go and have a look through the channel. There's no set format to it. Uh, it's whatever I'm up to and whatever I'm doing. But primarily it involves having fun and making money at the same time. Um, guys, this video is gonna be a bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to share with you what's happened today. So let's go over there and I'll show you. So guys, had an interesting afternoon this afternoon. So we've had a call uh, today. Uh, I'll explain the story, I'll go through it. It involves an old metric spanner and an ejection seat. So, um, story time. Let's sit on the ejection seat. So, sat on the ejection seat, and I don't know if you remember me saying last time, I didn't know if this seat was live. We bought the seat, and I had a gut feeling inside that something wasn't quite right with this seat. So, um, I was like, right, this needs to be sorted before we sell it. Definitely cannot uh, sell a seat without that. So I've been in talks with Martin Baker, the people that make this seat. We was gonna do a video, go into Martin Baker to take the seat to them and disassemble it and have a look. However, they thought that this could be done over the phone, especially with COVID and it wasn't too difficult to check. So I had a telephone call this afternoon with one of the main guys from Martin Baker and they were really, really helpful. Um, now they said to me in an email, they took loads of, I took loads of photos, sent it over, we were gonna go to Martin Baker but it just turned out that I couldn't get there for the dates they wanted me to go. They couldn't do what I wanted and it, it was a just, just a nightmare. So in the end, they video called me. Uh, we sent some pictures. They were 99% certain that it was deactivated, but you can never be too sure. And I wanted to be 100% before we sold this. And if it had any explosives in it, then that could be dangerous. So I wanted to get it checked and make sure that I felt at ease before we sold this and it was all right it's all legal it's all how it should be and this had to be the most nerve-wracking thing i've ever done now they've looked at it first via the pictures and they were 99 percent certain that it was deactivated it was old it's 70 years old and um yeah there was uh, no issues with it um but to make sure they phoned me up and i had a video call for about an hour and they told me everything about this chair. Um, they, it was really cool actually, because I'm a massive Martin Baker fan. It sounds weird, because it's like, just, it's in a chair, but as a kid, I was fascinated with ejection seats, and these guys have been doing it from day one. These are the people that make the majority of the ejection seats across the world. Um, so it was really interesting to speak to somebody um, within Martin Baker who knows what they're doing and, and basically had a look at this and guided me through. But I'm telling you now, I feel like I've got nerves of steel after this. Because um, I, I kept saying, are you sure I can do this? They were like, yeah, there's no problem at all. Um, but there's some firing pins on this. And do you know what? I didn't know how many there actually was. Um, and as, guys, if you are buying something like this, you need to uh, make sure it is safe. And that was my main priority. And when, I, when this got picked up, um, this was picked up, it wasn't picked up by me, it was picked up by a friend of mine and bought to me. Now when I bought it, I was told it was perfectly safe. It was only when I received the item and I looked at it and something just didn't ring true and I, I wanted to make sure, uh, see, because we've got all the parts in it uh, and we've actually got a few things on the seat that need to be checked. So 
here is where the main um, charge is um, for the unit. Now we needed to get this open to have a look to see if there was a cartridge in there. There's also a charge I believe here which wasn't there so they were happy with that uh, and that was one of the signs that they were saying that it's definitely been deactivated and then we've got a charge here and then also there is a charge inside here as well so as you can see they are now pretty much open um, but he, he said you're probably going to struggle to find a spanner um, because they'll all be imperial fittings now this is mike's place and we have everything and i had some vintage tools in the toolbox so we we had a spanner that fit exact hold on i can't do the spanner and the, the focusing at the same time there we go so we had a spanner that fit exactly uh which helped and we started with this one we got it open and as you can see here there is no charge inside it's completely empty and they've whoever decommissioned this has done the job and uh, we've also the same down here we've had to open this one this one was a bit scary because it got jammed but that's the actual firing pin for the cartridge that went in there it's completely empty, nothing in there. Uh, and we had another one in here, which again, take my word for it, you can see it's unscrewed. There's nothing in there either. Uh, and basically he just went through this and told me everything about it really and, and what things were, what they were used for. And it was really, really interesting. Uh, and hopefully next year, we can't do anything this year because of COVID, um, but hopefully next year, we might be able to get a pass to the factory and have a look around the factory. He really liked the stand that we've done for it as well. So uh, I just wanted to say, guys, I was, I'm so like the adrenaline running when I was doing this. I, um, but they assured me I was perfectly safe and they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, and uh, yeah, they uh, they helped me identify everything and make sure that it was completely safe for us to sell. And it, it's free of anything, there's nothing in it. Um, there was also concerns about what's in these, but I knew this was empty anyway. But guys, if you are buying anything like this, make sure there's no flares or anything inside. That's completely empty. So this chair is completely inert. It's uh, a lovely piece and I feel so much better now knowing um, that we are completely safe with this. I, I've had it up for sale on the website, but I've been in talks with Martin Baker. I wouldn't have released it until uh, I was happy with what will come back. Um, so if anybody inquired about it, I wouldn't have sold it. Um, we was waiting completely until uh, Martin Baker come back to us. but. Yeah, we're all ready for the open day now. So that's another thing guys, the open day is going ahead on the 19th of June. That's a Saturday, it's at 10 a.m. We've got loads of things happening. Um, we've got um, guests come in, people come in. We've got um, mental health charities here, uh, different ones as well. Um, we've got, I've got loads of interesting people coming. We've got the business accountants here. So if you've got any uh, reselling questions to fire my accountant, you can do that. Um, we've got a few, a special guest that I'm having on my podcast. He's going to be here. I'm not going to announce that yet. Um, but he is confirmed. He's going to come down. That would be cool. Uh, and we've got, I think we've got E-Buy Gum. Darren's coming, I think. Um, and we've got loads of different things going on. Free food, soul in a bowl, Caribbean food being given to everybody to try. Uh, and we've got the Airsoft site open, the range, the VR studio is open, um, the cafe, the veterans cafe is open. So an awesome day on uh, Saturday, so Saturday the 19th. Guys, I look forward to seeing you all there. It's been a short video, this one. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you and show you. Hopefully, I will see you on our open day. All the details will be in the description down below. Uh, you can have a look at that. Or go into Treasures of Time. Or go into my Instagram, Mike Barnett Official. Or whatever you choose. But hopefully, I will see you all on the open day. Guys, take care.
Love you all. Peace out.